And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2020 Japan Fukuoka at the Fukuoka International Center. We've got some K1 Cruiserweight action here. In the red corner, Rui taking on, in the blue, Animal Koji. I'm Brian. And I'm Ross. Boom. Let's get into this. So, got both gentlemen here, 29 years of age each. So, there's no youth or age experience here, advantage. Um, but one is a lot taller than the other, 193 <laughs> to 179 centimeters. That's 14 centimeters to you. Yeah, that, uh, that is a big gap in the striking world. Absolutely. Um, I think the animal, Koji, is going to have to come out like a rocket launcher here and try yeah. and close that <gasps> distance. There's yeah. a big body there. Um, let's hope you... Hope he goes to it. Yeah, I don't know what his spirit animal is, man, but he's going to need to channel a rhinoceros <laughs> or an elephant or something. Yeah, because he is a bull. <laughs> he's definitely a giraffe. He is long and tall. Very long and tall. Put you to good use here. I mean, look, he's, uh, you know, despite the fact his huge height and his huge, huge stance, you know, he's moving very smooth. He's very well calculated. Good range. Mm. Looking at keeping it long. Let me see, yeah, do we, um, some, some real tall guys will just have weird frames and look uncoordinated and not move well, but you can see Rui, um, just very coordinated and smooth. You know, I think what he, he, what he has to do is, just like you were saying, he's got to find his, the end of his jab and the end of his front kick. Absolutely, absolutely. Do you know what? Animal is really coming in here and he is just chucking some leather. He is purely headhunting. Yeah. You know, with a body like that, you'd think, okay, it's a nice target, it's square, let's use it. But nope, not this guy. Eggs all in one basket, he's going for the head. Well, and uh, Animal Koji coming from an MMA background, this is only his second kickbox of Ooh, the knee landing in his first fight in K1. So, um, yeah, you know what? When he doesn't have an experience, hopefully, you know, he can make up for in just brawl ability. Absolutely. He's a... Uh, Physically doesn't look that well conditioned, but, um, but he's a force to be reckoned with, and he's coming on strong here. No. Well, and surprisingly, he ate that knee from Rui. Um, he brushed it off pretty well because knees, especially from the big tall guys, um, are deceptive, and they really hurt, and they don't take much effort to get up to your face. Absolutely not, and you can see it from that southpaw stance. Ryu. Now, why is he doing that? Why is he closing the distance? Is he going a bit hit for tat there? Is he getting a bit emotional? He's got a beautiful southpaw jab. Just stick behind it. Mm. You know, I think you're exactly right. And you know what? He's, it could be that he wants more action with the knee. And he's getting it. But he doesn't have to be that close. No, absolutely. Now, you'll notice what he does. A great thing there, what he just did, is he throws the right hand out, sort of like a pine jab or a hook. But his real intention is to get behind the head of Animal Koji, to prevent it from moving backwards, and just ever so slightly pull it down as he lifts the left knee. If he can land that cleanly, it'll be a KO. But he needs to not do too much. And Koji getting... <laughs> Did you see that? Piratey in there, man. Yeah, <laughs> ear to ear. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, mean intentions all the way. <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was surprising. <laughs> and he had time to throw that in there mid combo. <laughs> he did, he did. And Ryuri <laughs> did not react whatsoever. He just looked at it and thought, what's he doing, yeah. man? Like, wow, oh boy, I'll see you out back. Yeah, he is an animal. He really? is an animal. <laughs> that was a nice move. Oh. To be fair, that's something you don't find <laughs> getting coached in gyms normally, yeah. but he pulled it off very well. Very oh, well. Boy. Yeah, well, mid mid stream mid combo as well. You know, not I, you know, not a bad round for Dewey. Uh, however, you know, I would like to see him just stick to his range a little bit more. Giving even though landing the knee, giving Koji uh, animal Koji opportunities that he really doesn't need to give him. Hundred percent. I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, he's got he's got this beautiful south for stance. He's got the reach. He's got the height. He doesn't need to engage. You know, animal needs to engage, needs to come forward. And that gives Rui all the opportunity he needs. He doesn't need to go looking for it, Oof. but he is. And as long as Animal Koji's headhunting the way he is, that's a dangerous game to play. Well, and Animal Koji, he uh, definitely has a good job because he took some solid knees there uh, in that round and seems no worse for the wear. So 
be interesting to see what he does here in the second round. Oh, I would imagine we'll see more Berserk mode from uh, Animal Koji. Though. <laughs> does look like an old-fashioned Viking, doesn't he? Like a Berserker. Yeah, maybe we'll see some more antics too. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see some of those. If they're pulled off as cleanly and as, uh, <laughs> yeah. as nicely as the last one. Come on, man. Oh, oh, there it is, the head hunting paid off. There it is. Wow. Rui now has to really start thinking, okay, let's get back behind the gap. Let's use those long kicks. Yeah. Let's just take some time here to recover. Look at Koji, he's just doing a you know, really slick there. You know, he, he ate the kick, but he blocked it to set up the punches, and the second one landed, the left hand over the top, and dropped it away. That was um, actually technical work there, not just not just brawl, not just berserk. Yep, nice. nice move there from Koji. He looked to do it again there, too. Yeah, he's blocking the kick. Um, You've got a beautiful jab. How about Rui really just starts using it? Stop feeding him kicks right now. It's not working. Yeah, he's kind of stuck in a pattern a little bit. Um, and he needs to, yeah, break the mold, take a few deep breaths, bounce, and, you know, just not get hurt worse this round. Absolutely, absolutely. There's a lot of this round to go, and we've got to start thinking about making it through there. Oh, he's going. Here we go. He's he, backed himself right yeah, in the corner there. up. No revolving, no use of lateral movement, and he's taking shots here. He's taking, these are significant shots. I think he's still stunned in there, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah, and anim anim yes. And Animal Koji is just um, feeling the momentum heavily in his corner right now. Absolutely, he's feeding off of it. And, and he's just looking to close that distance. His eyes are on the target the entire time. Yeah. He's breathing heavy, but that's not stopping him. Well, he, and he can Nui, taste blood. Nui should be feeling in all these beats with a jab or a front kick, sometimes a knee, but he needs to keep that range and stay a little bit busy because where there's no roadblock, Koji can just plow forward. Absolutely. Right now, those kicks are very telegraphed. And he Here stepped we in go. with the right hand again. Oh, man. Wow. Those kicks are far too telegraphed. Oh, he but does not look steady. Yeah, he's buzzed. He's clipped. Yeah. The referee's got to ask himself, does he really want to let this go on? Animal's going to come straight out and look to seal the deal here. Yeah. Comes in like a wrecking ball. Look at that. Oh, we need to just, yeah, clinch it up or move. Clinch, yes. move, clinch, move. Don't try to fight it out too much here. Absolutely not. Survive. Nothing wrong with moving here. Nothing wrong. The knee landing again and just Animal Koji is eating that thing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and doesn't care. Does not care. And look at this piling on the pressure here. Piling on the pressure. Yeah, when he spits his mouthpiece out, maybe his teeth will go as well, but he... Wow! Oh, he's done. He's over. Look at that. What, a second from the bell? Yeah. And look, look at that face. He knows he's been hit, and he is not looking at standing up anytime soon. He's going to clear his head first. Wow, unreal performance here in his, you know, K1 oh, debut. Maybe one other in the, uh, kickboxing fight under his belt. Getting the win against a tough game opponent in Dewey. Dewey making it all the way through the crush first cruiserweight tournament to the finals, losing to um, KG. But my gosh, man. Um, yeah, big, big win here for Animal Koji. Absolutely. He lived up to his name too, Animal. He came straight out, went straight for it, found the range, and just threw. Those, uh, Rui's going to have to look at those kicks and how telegraphed they were because they weren't working for him. They were working for Animal. Yeah. To counter off of it and um, gain momentum. And the moment he had his man buzzed, God, the pressure he put on. Yeah. No, he's got, he's got that killer instinct like a... Like a lion out in the savannah, man. Um, <laughs> Rui was a big gazelle. <laughs> yeah, an enormous, humongous gazelle that can knee you, but you just eat knees for breakfast. Unbelievable, yeah. Koji, uh, also an interesting character. So, yeah, I would, you know, I will probably see some more of him here in the K1 ring. I think so. I think, um, yeah, come from that. MMA to K1 and uh, overcoming such odds here. Why would you go back? Yeah. You'd want to stick around and see see what else you can do. Yeah, bring, in, uh, bring in the heat, man. Well, we know his weapons. He's got a big right and a big left. <laughs> He's not afraid to use it. And, um, and you know what? You know He doesn't mind blocking a shot with his face. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of heart, a lot of chip. No, I mean, dude. Nice guy, real tough situation for him. This is his hometown crowd, too.
gonna hurt. Oh. He's gonna stink. He's gotta go back and set the tape. He's gotta work out. There are, there are other ways of shooting the range other than just kicks. He should have looked at his jab, looked at yeah. his movement. Look yeah, at that yeah. face. It's a menacing face, isn't it? <laughs> it's a true animal there. Yeah, indeed, man. He's got to be feeling pumped on top of the world. Um, yeah, but the real work begins because this division is, is um, not an easy one, and there are some monsters. Um, so if anyone wants to be successful, he's going to have to keep working on that skill set and add, um, add on top of just the big right and the left. I'm looking forward to seeing the animal fight a monster. I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> when he gets in, in there with someone who can gain his respect with the odd shot. え、どうも、始めまして。今日から チャンピオンになるんで、皆さんこれからも応援 エレファントパンチと野獣どっちが強いか。Well, uh, yeah, the only thing better than those big right left punches that he swings is this Mike game. Pretty interesting guy. <laughs> Likes bananas, apparently. His favorite food. He does, he does. And quite a character. Quite a character. He's, uh, he's going to be here to stay, I think. Well, and there you have it. The K1 World Grand Prix 2020 Japan Fukuoka at the Fukuoka International Center. We will see you next time.